Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Gabriela Quinones, and I don't know why, but this lighting is kind of good. Hey. And it really sucks because I look really gross right now. I mean, like... I have a story to tell you, and it's very... Uh, it makes me mad. <laughs> so... I was filming a video the other day before school, which was already a very bad idea because makeup videos take me a really long time to set up and, you know, get all the products out and everything. And I thought it would be a really good idea to make a video while I was already, I'm out of breath, while I was already late. But you know what? I did it anyway for you guys and I may post it after this video goes out or maybe I will never post it and maybe this entire thing was not worth it at all but it all starts with me running late at my house doing my makeup <laughs> because I mean why not you know when you're late do a full glam makeup look and a tutorial while you're at it and um so I was running late and then I left my house with my car I mean that's how you go to school in a car the way that my school is set up is that you have a student parking lot and a teacher parking lot and the students are not allowed to park in the teacher parking lot, granted it's called the teacher parking lot and not the student parking lot. And if you're in the student parking lot you have to have a student parking sticker in the parking lot and if you're in the teacher parking lot, well, your car can pass as a, a, a parent car or whatever so you don't need a sticker. So I was speeding to school, yes, going five over. You know, like a real rebel. <laughs> well, actually, the reason I don't go any over five is because there's cops over there, like, all the time in the morning. And I'm not about that ticket life, and I'm not about to get pulled over just because I'm running late. So, I'm going at a respectable speed, which is five over the speed limit. <laughs> but in my turbo car, going five over is pretty fast, actually. Especially if you, like, slam on the gas pedal and just go vroom, you go really fast. And so, that's what I did. So I'm doing that all the way down the road, right? And then I'm going down the other road that I can go 10 over because cops don't really pull you over there because whatever reason, but they don't. So I was going 10 over over there and I was speeding so fast, okay? I had like maybe five minutes to get to class and I was about like five minutes away from the school. So I'm going and I, I don't know, I, I think I cut through like a gas station parking lot. Um, like I just went through a gas station. <laughs> You know, I had a breath and I was like speeding in my turbo car. I get to the teacher parking lot and I'm turning and I'm like, okay, gotta slow down because I can't hit any kids. And I'm looking, I look at the time, I got three minutes, okay? So then I go and I park the car, I go park into it, I put on the emergency brake, I put on the parking and then I unplug my phone, I take out the key, I wrap my backpack, I get out the car, close the door, lock the door, and then, and then I see this. Go move your car to the student parking lot. And this teacher knew me. This teacher knew me. So it wasn't like I could be like, Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go to class first and then I'm gonna move my car and then she would just have to like I don't know track down my my license plate and this and that no She knew my first and last name and I'm pretty sure she knew my schedule So move my car all the way back to the student parking lot and you know what you know what I had two minutes to get to class Two minutes. I could have made it to class on time. I could have made it to class with a minute to spare But no I had to move my car to the student parking lot. This is how close I was to my class. This is how close I was when I had to move my car to the student parking lot. So I moved my little car to the student parking lot. And you know what else I did? I complained. Not to administrators or uh, to the teacher. Um, and I, I, I was very careful to make sure that she wasn't around when I complained about her. But I complained to people who couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, that's right, I complained to other students, I complained to my friends. Is that a glare? Deal with the glare. As mad as you are about this glare is as mad as I was at that teacher for making me move my car to the student parking lot. Listen, I know it's a teacher parking lot, okay? I know I'm supposed to park in the student parking lot, okay? I know that it's a risky game. You know what's more important? My education, okay? I've had perfect attendance since first grade. I'm never late, except <clears throat> this past year when uh, I was late. I value my education. That's why I've always had perfect attendance. So you know what, teacher lady? Because of you making me park in a student parking lot whenever I was trying to get to class on time, 
I missed like five minutes of class. And what I missed in those five minutes of class, I missed the illusion of the day. I missed the idiom of the day. And you know what? I missed a special announcement about when the test was. So, whenever a test came up, I wasn't prepared because I didn't know about the test. Because I missed it. Because you made me miss, you made me miss some five minutes of class. Because you made me go park in the student parking lot. Yeah, that's right. It's not my fault that I failed that test because I didn't study. It's your fault for making me miss five minutes of class and not knowing that I had to study. So, you know what? When I, when I get my GPA and I, and I have a C in that class and my GPA went down from a 3.6799 whatever to a 3.5, I'm going to blame you. One, you're going to regret it. You're going to rule the day, teacher, for making me park in the student parking lot. And you know what? Yes, I am very upset about this, okay? Like, I, I literally missed five minutes of class and I was late to class. You know what, you know what, Mr. Mrs. Teacher, I think I keep calling you a Mr. But you're a Mrs. You're so lucky that my teacher's third hour is super nice and doesn't mark me tardy because I swear to God I would go to the office and march over there and be like, this teacher made me tardy. But you know what, you, you could be like, well yeah, she parked in the teacher parking lot and then I could get a ticket for parking where I'm not supposed to park. But you know what, you know what, it's a risk I'm willing to take because I value my education. So you suck, Mrs. Not gonna say your name. Even though I know your name, because I respected you. You are a teacher. You taught me things sometimes. And you know what? You know what? I may still respect you as a teacher because I respect my elders. Yeah, you're old. But you know what? I'm mad at you. Mm-hmm. I am mad at you. That was to you, Mrs. Teacher. My name is Gabriela Quinones, and true story. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like these story times, so I can do more when I feel like it. <laughs> Comment down below if you've ever been told to move your car, and if it made you tardy, or if you were ever tardy, and why you were tardy. I'm sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. See y'all later.